In the final phase of the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, the Taliban are rapidly taking over many provinces. Intensifying its attacks on Thursday, the Taliban arrived in Kabul, and clashes began. The Taliban, which took control of two cities yesterday, also hit the United Nations building with rockets and hand grenades in the conflict with Afghan forces in the city of Herat, Afghanistan. The attack was strongly condemned by the United Nations and the United States. The United Nations said that the perpetrators of this attack should be identified and held to account. Clashes continued on Saturday as well. Taliban forces also took control of a hospital in the area. However, as we tried to convey to you in our previous works, the Taliban is a terrorist organization that has been washed with blood. It is a brutal terrorist organization that can resist the 20-year adventure of the U.S. troops in Afghanistan and risk everything to overthrow the U.S.-backed government and does not make a ceasefire even on holy days. The decisions that the USA will take for Afghanistan and Central Asia from now on are in a very critical position. If there is an effort to organize an operation under the name of 20-year Afghan friendship by being emotional, it may share the same fate with Russia in the past. At the same time, with the Taliban so advanced, President Biden can save his move to make it against China or Russia. Maybe he should keep it. As a result, the US decided to withdraw the opportunity to intervene in Afghanistan for China and Russia. However, this move of the USA may also be to create a chance to move against Russia and China. The main UN compound in the capital of the western Afghan province of Herat was attacked by anti-government elements on Friday and at least one security guard was killed, the United Nations Assistance Mission in Afghanistan, Anama, said. The attack, involving rocket-propelled grenades and guns, happened hours after Taliban fighters penetrated deep into Herat city, and heavy clashes with Afghan security forces took place near the Anama provincial headquarters, officials said. In a statement after the attack, the UN said it was urgently seeking to establish a full picture of the assault. <laughs>